Hello, it's John. It is about one in the morning and um, Colin was over for a while and he just left about an hour ago. So I decided that I was going to make another vlog like I did, I think it was last week. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to do that again because I'm once again all comfy in my room. And yeah, so I already have a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about, including... Um, if you guys watched my vlog last week, you will know about my job, which I no longer have, and I'm going to tell you about that right now, except my camera's doing a weird thing. I don't know, there's like a face detection box around me. But anyway, um, my Easter Bunny job did not end well because... I don't think I told you guys about my um, manager or boss or whatever she was. There's hair in my eye. Um, she was horrible. She was evil and rude and condescending and everything bad. Like I would, I, I was like the greeter and I would like let a person in too early and she'd yell at me and then I'd like, so I was like scared because she'd yell at me so then I'd like wait to let people in and then she'd look at me and be like are you gonna let them in I'm like oh, like I need your like blessing to let them in because you'd yell at me if I let them in too early and then I walked in okay I came in about like two minutes late because my mom decided to get a shower like 15 minutes before we were supposed to leave so I got in there and right when I walked in she just had it like she was so mad um she, she like yelled at me because I had to be five minutes early because apparently she said it's like that at every job except at Sears we had like a nine minute leeway thing. You could come in like nine minutes, nine minutes late. So I was just like, okay. And I didn't really know what to do. Like I, I was like, I almost got emotional over it at first when she first started like yelling at me for everything. But then I realized like, like why am I getting mad or upset over this she was just so mean and then um whenever people like come in i ask them what kind of pictures they're ordering and whoa it's really blurry okay well yeah i ask them what kind of pictures they're ordering and um they can like add on a cd with their pictures on it and they would tell me so i could tell like the photographer and i always hated it when tammy tammy's the lady i'm talking about I always hated it when she was the photographer because she'd just yell at me for everything. So I wrote, like I, I put like, I circled the package they were getting and then I put plus CD and I, I wrote it really small but you could obviously see that it said plus CD and she lost it because I did not write it big enough and she couldn't see it and she just, she got so mad and I, the next time someone ordered a CD I wrote it like the whole paper, like CD, huge. She probably got really mad about that. I don't know. I hated her. I don't hate people very often, but I hated her. She was awful. So anyway, this is like where I'm getting with the story. Tomorrow we were supposed to, um, like me, Michaela, and Lizzie, and I think our friend Rachel, we were supposed to go to Splash Lagoon, which is a water park, if you don't know, in Erie. So I, um, a couple days ago I called off. I just texted her because I had her number. Um, I texted her that I was going to Splash Lagoon that day and I wouldn't be able to work on Saturday, which is now tomorrow, which I'm not working and I will get to that in a couple seconds. Um, she texted me back and said, I like memorized the text. She was like, I know this is just a small part-time job for you, but we were counting on you to be there. Friday and Saturday will be our busiest days. And she was like, with that being said, have fun on your vacation and don't worry about your remaining days. I'll find a replacement for you. And I was like, I was like, what? Like you're firing me from the Easter Bunny job? How does that even happen? So yeah, I basically do not have that job anymore. And I would have worked yesterday, today, and tomorrow, which I would have called off tomorrow. I only had a couple days left, but still that's like money and I'm actually now I'm like I'm really glad that I'm not working I don't think I could have dealt with her for three more days especially because today I would have had a six hour shift tomorrow I would have had a six hour shift I don't think I could have could have done it at all she's too much to handle I hope something 
happens in her life that gives her some kind of revelation that she needs a better attitude because she is awful and she didn't even know how to spell my name I didn't even bother like correcting her she spelled it J-E-A-N-N-A -N -N -A, and she called me Gina and we even, they even had, I don't know if I said this in my last video but there were like little easter eggs on the cash register that had all the employees names on it and my name was here, I even have it on my schedule for my first day here let me like cover up these numbers you can see it says Gina she didn't even like know my name she was terrible one of the days I wore flip-flops because it was like a really nice day out and the dress code for work this is all she said in the dress code a white t-shirt khaki pants and we wear an apron and she did not specify shoes or anything so I wore flip-flops and she when when I saw her like walk over to me I was like what is she gonna yell at me for now and that's what it was and there was another girl my age who was working, I finally got to work with her. She got yelled at for everything too, so we would just, whenever we were leaving at the same time, we just complained about Tammy the whole time. She was terrible. She's like a grumpy, I don't know how old she is, she's probably late 50s, maybe 60 or something, and she was just mean. I, oh, I don't know. She was miserable. Really, really bad, so... I'm really glad not to be working with her anymore. And I was gonna work um, at the mall again for Christmas with Santa, but she also hosts, hosts, owns, I don't know, she, she does that too, so definitely not doing that. And I was really looking forward to working Christmas time, but not anymore, because she probably would even hire me again. Um, and I texted her back after she texted me that, I was like, I usually don't make a habit of calling off. I even came in the last couple work days sick. I had the worst sinus infection for like two weeks. I still came in. I said because I didn't want to disappoint anyone. And I was like, thank you for the opportunity though. She never said anything back. So whatever. I don't know. Next stop for jobs. I'm applying at McDonald's in the summer because I think I already told you guys this too because there's a cleaning job. So I'm going to do that. So hopefully it's better. I don't know, like, I think every job that I get is, like, gradually getting better. Because Sears was awful. The bunny job was not awful. It was only awful because of Tammy. Without Tammy, it was fun. One of the days I didn't work with her, it was really fun. So, it was just Tammy who made it miserable. And then, maybe next job will be awesome. So, that's what I'm hoping for. So, yeah. That was that. I really needed to complain about that. Because I'm pretty mad that she basically fired me. Like, she didn't even say, no, you can't call off this day. She just was done. It's like, wow. Yeah, that is that. Um, now that I, like, got into that, I forget, I forget what else I was going to talk about. Um, oh, prom! I was going to talk about prom. Um, so, prom, I'm actually I'm going to prom this year with Colin. And it's on May 3rd, I believe. Um, but I have, like, a, I'm in, like, a dilemma right now because I ordered this dress online I'm actually going to show you guys the dress um, that I ordered but there is a slight problem with it um, okay I I don't know if you guys know what store envy is it's uh, I don't know it's just kind of like kind of like an eBay of some sort without bidding I don't know it's people who like make their own shop and sell their own stuff like I sell my clothes on store envy and I found this really nice store with really cheap, like, dresses. And they're not really, like, prom dresses because everyone wears, like, elegant, like, long dresses to prom. They're kind of just, like, evening dresses, but I think they are good enough. They're so pretty. And I found one that was only, like, 20-something dollars. And I ordered it. And I everything was fine. I ordered the dress. And then I got an email the next day. Like, after I paid for the dress and everything, I got an email from the owner of the shop who um did not even speak proper english that i couldn't even like barely understand the text it said hello about your nice dress this dress is sold out please order another dress i was like sold out like i already paid for it how did why didn't you tell me that before so i had to i was scared it was like a scam because like who would tell you your dress is sold out after you pay for it 
but it wasn't a scam. They refunded, and um, I found another dress, and I will show you that now. It is so pretty. This is it. I don't know if you can see it very well. Oh, there we go. This is the dress. It has like roses up there, and it is so pretty. It's like a red fairy dress, so I'm really excited for it to come in. But um, since that whole like dress thing happened before, um, I was I'm really like getting on the wire of prom, like being here. So I had to like uh, get a refund for that dress. Really blurry. Had to get a refund for that dress. I had to order this dress, but um, the dress is like on pre-order or something. So it takes 10 to 20 days to get here. And today is the, what is today? Today is the, where is the date on? Oh, April 19th. So prom is in about like 13-ish days and the dress is coming in 10 to 20 days. So I don't know, I'm like really hoping that it gets here before prom. Cause what would I do if it came here after prom? I don't know. That would be really bad, and if it doesn't fit, like, I, I'm not going to be able to get it altered or anything, so it's going to be interesting. I'll definitely do a prom video. I don't even know how I'm doing my hair. I don't have shoes, and prom is really soon, so that's probably not good. I should probably get all of this figured out, but I'm really excited because I, I've, like, always... I'm not really into school, like, dances and stuff, but I've always wanted to go to prom ever since. I don't know if how old you guys are watching this, but if you were into Lizzie McGuire whenever it was out, like, so long ago, I was in, like, elementary school, there was an episode when she went to prom, and I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to go to prom, and now I'm, like, finally going. It's so weird. So, yeah, I'm actually really excited. Except our prom is overnight, which is probably gonna be awful because I don't know I'm gonna be so tired because it starts and I think we all like take a bus or no we drive to the school and then they have the grand march which is probably gonna take like two hours because we have we have 2,000 people at our school um, plus people will be bringing other people from other schools it's gonna be a really long grand march and um, they have to, our principal has to check all of our bags, which is going to take so long. And then, um, we take a bus to the prom location. Prom ends at like 12 or 1 in the morning, and then we take another bus to this, I don't know what exactly it is. It's like a, a game play, like an arcade type of place, I think. And then we stay there until like 5 in the morning, and we don't sleep, we're, you're just like up. And we're not allowed to change out of our dresses. That's going to be so uncomfortable. And I hope that it's not hot. Homecoming was so hot. It was like desert temperature. It was so bad. And I just got home and took a shower. And if I, I'm not going to be able to go home and take a shower after prom until like 5 in the morning. Like all night I'm going to be in this prom dress. Hopefully not sweating like homecoming. Homecoming you could like touch someone's shoulder and your hand would be like wet because sweat Ugh, it was awful so I hope prom's not like that because I will not be able to go and just like get a nice shower after all the dancing and stuff is done so I don't know it'll be an interesting experience I'll do a video like I did for homecoming so I'm looking forward to that and yeah um what else there had to be something else I don't know, I really just wanted to get this Tammy drama off of my mind because I'm pretty mad. I don't even think we're going to Splash Lagoon now, so I basically like lost my job for nothing because Mikhail's car is in the shop and that's how we were getting there, so probably not even doing anything now. But I'd rather do nothing than work for Tammy. Ugh, I just can't even, the thought of her, it's bad. I don't know. I'm just pretty sleepy right now because Colin was over. How many hours was he over for? Like, maybe like five or six hours. And we made Easter cookies. Actually, my mom made them. And, oh no, this is pretty embarrassing. I'm just going to ask you guys because maybe I'm not the only one who thinks this. I, I, I think I'm the only one. Like, I don't know the map. I really don't know geography. I don't know 
where the states are in the United States. I know where California is, Florida, Texas, Pennsylvania because I live there, and New York. And other than that, like I, I don't know where the states are. I don't know if I'm the only one. I, I remember learning them in sixth grade, and after that, we didn't really pay much attention to the states. And Colin just that blows his. Ugh, my camera stopped, but um, yeah, that just like blows Colin's mind. He's like, you should know where the states are. And I don't know where they are. Like, it, I don't see the point in memorizing where the states are because you have you can look up maps and stuff, but um. I didn't really realize that this was a problem until I was in Spanish class a couple days ago and we're learning like the directions like Northwest and Southwest like Medio Oeste is like the center of the country and then there's like um, Noreste, Noroeste, Sureste, and Sureste and I know what they mean like I know that Noreste is Northeast, I know that Sureste is Southeast but um, I don't know where things are to locate them. So on the Spanish test, it said like, donde esta Iowa, like where is Iowa? And you'd have to put a direction and I did not know where Iowa was. I had no idea and I got that wrong on the test because I like knew what the directions were. I, if I knew where Iowa was, I would have gotten the answer right. But like, I didn't know where Iowa was to put like where it was and I still don't know where it was, where it is. So I was like telling Colin about this and Colin is from Virginia. He's from, um, now that I, I know this now, he's near Washington DC and I, something has changed my life almost, kind of, <laughs> in like a weird way. I always thought that Washington DC was in Washington state. I thought like DC was the capital city of Washington, the state. Like, the president lives in Washington, D.C. I thought the president lived in Washington. And I didn't know Washington was way up by, uh, above California somewhere. I thought that Washington was near me and near, like, Pennsylvania. And I didn't know that Washington, D.C. was its own little place. I, I, oh, I can't, I can't even stop thinking about it. Like, it drove me insane. Like, this whole life I spent thinking... Washington DC was in Washington like just how you'd say like uh, What's a city like? Like San Francisco, California Washington DC Washington like that's just what I thought and I finally know now that the president does not live in Washington state because Washington DC is not in Washington state and I thought I always thought Washington was the most like important state in the United States because that's where the president lives but Washington isn't even important like no one even cares about Washington because it's like nothing because Washington DC is not in Washington oh my god I don't know if you guys are following me but I oh it like I couldn't stop thinking about it this whole time like my life was like a lie I didn't know this so I, I'm gonna start studying the map maybe um, it's probably embarrassing that I don't know it, but I'm sure there's someone else out there who doesn't know it. My mom doesn't know it. Colin, that also blew his mind that my mom doesn't know the map either. But I just can't believe that Washington, D.C. is its own place and it's not a city in Washington. Like, I thought there was Washington, the state. It was, like, near Pennsylvania somewhere where it's really not. I thought, like, you know, like, on a map how the capitals have, like, little stars... I thought, like, I could see in my mind, like, Washington, D.C., like a little star in the center of Washington. Oh, God. I don't know. That, that was, like, a heated discussion. Colin was, like, amazed. But, yeah. Colin's doing well. I have to put him in a video. Because he said that he would be in another one. Because he was really awkward in the first one. But we've been dating for about, what month? almost four months so everything is going well and I will definitely be getting him in a video soon um, I don't know if you guys want us to make like a certain kind of video like a tag or something I don't know how I like looked up boyfriend tags before and I didn't really like them so I don't know maybe we'll just talk about stuff so yeah that's exciting and um, I'm currently on Easter break but we only had like 
two day break pretty much like Friday and Monday and Saturday and Sunday but um because we had a bunch of snow days we don't really have that many days off like last year we had like Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and Tuesday and they cut us short so yeah it was pretty sad but yesterday yesterday was so hectic it was like the last day before break so all the teachers were like cramming in everything that they could cram in and I had like I had a Spanish test, an astronomy test, two astronomy projects due, a math test, and this huge math review due. And then I had to memorize a poem by Robert Frost. It was like two roads diverged in the yellow wood. And I like don't even remember it, but I, I got a hundred on it on the on the uh, test thing, so that's good. And then I don't know, that's about, it was it was really busy. I had so much to do Thursday night and just felt so good to come home yesterday and sleep and not have to worry about having school today. So yeah, I'm actually pretty content right now because I'm not working. I would have had to work for like six hours today and I'm so relieved that I do not have to work for six hours today and tomorrow. So pretty, pretty nice and um, I got a bunch of summery clothes from Wet Seal, and then um, I ordered some off of Store Envy today. So I'm gonna do a haul whenever they all come in. So I'm pretty excited for that. And then um, I blew my first paycheck, first and only good paycheck. So I'm gonna have like a twenty dollar paycheck coming in next time. Yeah, I blew all of my money on Avon because I really needed new makeup, and my mom does Avon, so. Um, I get I can use her like 40% off thing so I would have spent like 80 something dollars and I only ended up spending 50 something so that's good and I'll do an Avon haul too because I got this face mask the camera is still so blurry okay I got this face mask and you put it on and it's just black like a black face mask and it's supposed to clear out your pores and stuff so I'm gonna do a uh, summary clothes haul an Avon haul and attached to the Avon haul I will put the black face mask on because so that's probably gonna be fun to watch so yeah I think that is about it oh I want to show you guys let's see my comfy sheets I don't know you guys probably don't care about my sheets but look at how comfy my bed is I can't feel it but you can just see that it is comfy because my mom got finally she got me a mattress cover and it is so soft. It's like three inches of pillow top mattress. And it's like a cloud. It's really nice. And I made an attempt to clean today. But it didn't work too well. kind of did. I don't know. I cleaned this up pretty nice. Why is my camera so blurry? Okay. Yeah, I cleaned this up pretty nice. I put all of my stuff in here in this little basket so yeah I don't know I guess that was about it I just wanted to show you my bed <laughs> so I am about to watch a movie with my mom even though it's really late we're probably both gonna fall asleep but I just wanted to talk to you guys again and um if I don't talk to you again before Easter I just want to say happy Easter and uh eat a lot because I always eat a lot on holidays. I think that's the best part. I hope you guys have a good holiday and break and I will um, make my next video as soon as possible. It might be the haul video because I just ordered some new stuff today and it should be coming in soon and yeah that's about it so I'll hopefully see you guys soon and once again have a nice holiday. Thank you for watching and bye!